Hello everyone, Teacher here. Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk a little bit about my squads. I want to talk about what I'm probably going to plan ahead. And I'm going to dive a little bit into raids and we'll see what else we get around to. So if you're ready, let's take a closer look. So I want to start off here with my Rivendell team. As you can see, Lord Elrond is now gear 9, so I would consider him complete to an extent and the reason why I want to say complete is because the fact that to make someone gear 10 is just so massive like you're gonna need two here like the 10 here is not really that bad you can buy them for 320 gems if you have gems to spend but then we have to look at three of these and it's basically going around so that's a little bit too much now what else we're gonna work on uh, Arwen is gonna be next I'm not gonna have her done for this raid. I hope for next raid I have her done, and that is because I can farm um, the candles in shadow and light hard nodes. And then there's also a normal one that I can farm where I uh, put my excess energy into before I go to bed. Now, uh, if we're then gonna look at them, uh, Arwen is gonna be next. At the same time, I'm gonna be gearing up Lomian to gear eight and we have started to invest into Elvin uh, Elro here, and I've made his Deadly Grace, so it has a two-turn expose. I've put that to six. The next thing I'm going to be doing is Elvin Revenge to six, and the reason for this is because I'm actually just going to say, okay, now I'm going to finish them. We roughly have two weeks until Lord Elrond comes, and at that time, I basically want my Rimmendel team to be done. Uh, Baleful Spear, I don't know if I will invest into this. It is 50% damage, I don't know. Maybe, but that will be the last one that I do. And then we have Arwen, basically. I actually want her... At least I want these at... Um, like this one, I can survive without. But her basic and her special one, uh, I want them to 6. And then this one, I want the extra 5% damage. And I would actually also perhaps like this one for the uh, chapter 4, I, where I hear there's a lot of banes. So this one might uh, also be worth it. Also, I think this could maybe be good for chapter 3, but that is wishful thinking. But these two for sure, and then I would like to make this one. This one I can survive without at the moment. Lord Elrond is basically there. I want to make this, however, for... Uh, because it's uh, two turns regen, so I want to make this level 6, and I also want to make this level 6 um, his passive. House Eternal, I actually ran into someone today with House Eternal at level 6, granting some counterattacks to Eladan, uh, and that is something I didn't consider, it's the most wounded member, that's Eladan normally, so he does a counter. He can inflict basic with his passive, uh, with his uh, basic on a link attack or the counter attack. That's actually really nice. So Elrond, I want to make him uh, six all across the board. And then we have Lomian. Now for Lomian, I want this one for six. And I also want this one for level six. And this one, I would actually also like level six. Um, we'll see if I go for that because it is a little bit expensive. Level five, probably for sure. This one. I'm not planning on using him in Arena, so I don't really know. I don't think so. We'll see. But uh, these two for sure, and also I would like this one. And that's basically Rivendell done. And for abilities, as you can see, I'm working on Lomian. What we're going to go to next, actually, is going to go to our rat room. By the way, free to Beb, free the Hobbits, make it available. Yef2 is now gear 8, so we got him to where we want him. And Robel is coming along nicely, so is Yef2. Bekelu, since she got out, I actually... And I had spent my free refreshes that day. free My free 100. And so I didn't have that to work with. But she's already around almost halfway. So I would say like 35%-ish. Maybe 40 so that is where she is, and we are going to be investing into this team ability-wise next. I actually want to go with Bekelu first, and the reason why I want to go with Bekelu first is because she has a lot of poison and black serpent, and she goes really fast, so that would be good for the troll. And also maybe it could be good for the um, Balrog. Now, 
they can get poison, uh, the Balrog, but there is some other things to do. And also overall, I think it would be a nice one to go for. Robel, uh, seven star, really looking forward to it. I hope the seven star with this one can help in chapter one. This team can do a 900k, there's a little bit RNG on it, but it's uh, it can do 900k. I think I went with a 760 this time around in the chapter one yesterday, and that was basically because I'm still a little bit upset about the massive screw up from CG. Um, also, this one will be helpful along with Bekelu's passive. So, yeah, Heratrim probably will be the next team because I'm already so invested into them with gear that I will probably make them gear 9 and then also invest into the full abilities. So that is my plan for that team. Uh, that is probably going to be November-ish. Speaking of November, we've all seen the leaks of the Black Beast and Orphan is coming next um Next month. Uh, sorry, I wanted. I know what I want to show you. So some people have been asking me what is my feeling about Rumel. This is my answer. I'm not even gonna bother investing into him after seeing how the uh, Marquis works, where you only have two characters, and also I be some. I don't know if you can actually use Lord Balin. We, we can actually go check. But yeah, let's actually go check. Uh, ends. No, you cannot. Yeah, okay, I'm not even gonna bother investing into that. Like, yes, these would actually be nice to work with for my squad, but other than that, I don't really need them. Um, the XP is basically like 5k, I get extra, I'm not even gonna work. It's not even worth the hassle, honestly. So what I'm gonna be working on next is actually Boromir um, to 6 star. I'm using my gems on that. Now, I know I make the video about do not spend, etc, so on, um, but... For me, like I will still be buying gems. Uh, I will be buying their actual offers that they give me, unless it's something insanely stupid or if the hobbits come back out. Now, Boromir, I'm gonna be making six, and the reason why I'm only doing Boromir is because I need him to tank for chapter three. That should help the squad uh, get an increase there. If it doesn't, I might start Faramir and Denethor as well. So we get them to a six star. I don't believe it's worth uh, 12k gems to actually get them to from six to seven, because from five to seven it's 20k uh, worth of gems if you buy the 400 packs only, uh, 10 shards. So, but Boromir, I would like him up so with the additional health because I have Halberad with uh, with him. And speaking of Halberad, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the. Rangers, where are they? They are here. Halberad and Miri. Miri is coming along quite nicely. She's gonna be a six star tomorrow. It's gonna drain all my gold. Now, Halberad, as you can see here, I really want him built. Basically, he's. I need him at a full six. Um, and but we'll see where we go next. Like after I do Haradrim, we'll see if I pivot into my Road to Rivendell squad, or if I pivot into my Gondor Ranger squad. Or if I pivot into the Black Beast that's coming out. And that is actually what I was about to talk about. The leaks. We know it's going to be a Nazgul. And there's going to be Shadow in November. Now I have talked about Do Not Spend etc. And I still highly suggest that. We have 60 energy. Let's just see if there's something we forgot to farm. Uh, oh yeah there is. And I'm, al I'm already going to be honest and say it. I will spend on Nazgul because I really like them. Um, I think many people have expected it also with the Witch King intro, so yeah, I will be doing that. And that is a personal choice for me, um, like gems and then Nazgul. I'll see what the event works uh, with the info, like the other ones that are being released, the Marquis, do we need them, etc. Uh, so on, we'll, I'll see where I go from there. And I want to get a full Nazgul team down the line. Yes, I know it's going to be expensive, but that is something that then, if if there's something to console me and soothe me, then that will be a Nazgul squad that they don't fuck up with. So, but speaking of normal energy, we know there's going to be mods coming uh, before the end of this year. They have said they would put it in normal energy. I still hope they change that, that we get a separate energy from this. It would actually fit quite nicely, like move everything a little bit. 
and then gold could be over here, and then we have another bar here for mod energy. Now, that would be really, really nice, honestly, and I would love to see that. I don't know if that will happen. So, my uh, energy until that is just actually farm some characters. Now, I've been at a crossroad, honestly. I could go farm some Rohan free. I don't want to do that. As you can see, these two are coming along nicely. I might do a refresh on them when the F2 is done. The two, um, the two refreshes, I would probably put one in here. And then the uh, 50 uh, gem energy refresh, I would uh, use on that. But what I actually have considered doing, I've actually considered starting Feely and Keely. Especially Keely, because Feely I get the 5 shards per day. And the reason for this is... I had this video supposed to go out uh, just before the update, but I didn't do it. So I want to mention it here. There's an insane crit team with Orofin, and basically it go uh, it goes Legolas, and then it goes Feely Keely, it goes Gimli, and then it goes Orofin. And there will be so much crit with that. Also because there's bleed, so that should be a really good team for the troll. You have two elves that are okay fast-ish, and then you have a team up attack uh, with uh, Feely and Keely, the basics, where you get an assist, so that's two. You have Gimli, who can also do some stuff. Uh, I don't know if the Legolas Gimli team up works, but yeah, Orphan here, uh, he's... Uh, let's go Fury of uh, Friendship. Look, um... Rand deadly for two turns to one dwarf. Imagine if you get that onto Keely. I believe that was the damage dealer. Or Gimli, or you put it onto a Legolas with a Legolas lead. There's just going to be so much speed going on there. So I, I know I've spoken really harsh about dwarves, but I would actually say you should consider maybe investing into dwarves. I think dwarves has a spot now. Um, and the reason for that is Haradrim being done over the way they did. Now, if I were to then do it based on what we have available, I would do Biffer when he is released to being farmed. And then I would do Fro, Filikili, and Gimli. Um, that is probably the easiest way of getting there. And I would say get them to five to begin with and then take it from there. there, there there is value for doing dwarves at the moment also because they're fixing them now. So, ooh, 8 energy, that's uh, or 8 charge, that's really good. So, we are on track. As you can see, I've spent everything. I'm not doing 200, it's not worth it. And if you're thinking about how we did in raids, we are in chapter 2 at the moment. I have strong hope still that we will get chest free today uh, in this raid. Not today, in this raid, that we will get chest free. Now, I have seen a lot... Um, of mentioning that the Balrog is very difficult. I've seen some say it's actually easier for them to auto. And with that in mind, some might be thinking, why isn't he mentioning Nerumiri? What is he doing with her? Nerumiri will be built at some point, at least um, with XP and what is basically, see what I can get away with. I'll talk with the guild mates there in DK crew. We should go for this chest. Uh, personal rewards, I was a little bit below what I did last time. If I really wanted to count, I could have gotten uh, 4,000 here extra, but I did 1.4, it's okay. And that's also another reason for building Rivendell. I want to do well in this chapter, and that's also why I have Radrim afterwards. Those two teams should do quite nicely. Haradrim is actually doing okay um, in the first phase. Second phase, I think I just need the abilities for the damage, actually, and then I would be able to get a topple on the troll, and then also, of course, the last 7-star on the member, so I actually have a better chance of passing the focus check. So that's basically where we're standing now. Orphan, if you do want to spend, then I would say spend on him. Don't spend on Rumul. Rumul has a balanced kit, but uh, I would say for a more offensive squad, and I hear the Balrog is a really high DPS check, then I would say uh, Orphan actually makes a lot of sense of uh, for do buying and at least 5-starring. So that's also something I'm considering for why I might buy him. Shadow we're gonna get next month, I'm really looking forward to that. I will 
be testing that a lot and I will be investing into the NAS school. Of course, it depends on the team and everything. And I still have some projects to be uh, finished, but we'll see where we go from there based on the info that they give us. That's it for today, everyone. Be happy. Even though CG has messed up a little bit, I still like this game. I will still play it. I'm not even thinking about quitting. My mood is just down a little bit, but I'm trying to do what I said in my other video about how to be happy. Small goals here and there. And now I'm actually working on my Rivendell and upgrading them. And Elrond being gear 9 gave me a lot of good energy, good vibes today. So I'm going to be using that for tomorrow. And I'm enjoying my holidays. I have autumn holidays this week. So... Drop a comment down below if you have a suggestion for what you might want to see in a future video. Any positive feedback, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want. And I'll see you all in the next video.